Hello, Glitch Trooper here. I'm back, so it's uh, time for some more Thumb Resurgence 2, and uh, just to look around. Yeah, yeah, there. I, I spotted a nymph a moment ago. That uh, could be annoying with this uh, glitch or whatever it is that's going on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a bug in this that I have no idea what's happening. Anyhow, I did find out how to get this to work. So, my altar from, uh, from kind of the, uh, spiritual successor to uh, some of the uh, uh, original Toho series of mods, or at least one of them, is we've got, uh, uh, well, let me get the, uh, the Toho Little Maid mod. I did manage to figure out how it worked, so I had to go uh, hunting for maid fairies to get enough power. Thing is, if you hold this go high, it'll show the uh, little symbol on the screen, and, uh, how much you got of it, that, that that's your power, and this runs off that. So as you collect it from defeating maid fairies, you'll be able to power this altar. It'll tell you how much you need, but uh, you need to kind of go through a few things to go here, because if you, uh... Oh wait, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, hello. Okay. If you go on altar craft and you click on that, it'll show you all the recipes rather than just... You know, so, uh, some of them in the book. The thing is, the book, oddly enough, doesn't have every recipe on, in there. Like, it doesn't tell you how to spawn a new maid. And maids have various functions they can do, and that's what really interests me for this, because I was thinking, if I can't get my uh, Thomcraft infusion to work, I can still incorporate golems into the process, but I'm going to have to complement them with maids. Because the maids will be able to do some farming, and this is how... Oh, wait, wait, do I have that in here? No, I put my book somewhere else. I think it's with my other books. Uh, anyhow, uh, the point is that I think they can complement doing various things, so I'm going to have to... Um, well, wait a moment. If I don't have my... Uh, Uh... Hmm. Does it under that? Really? Where could I put my book? Because I have my bestiary book there. Did I keep it on me here somewhere? Yeah, I do. Nope, that's my book of shadows. So, wrong book. Uh... Nope, that's the Potato Nomicon. You know, I'm gonna have to rearrange some of my books, so let's, uh... Let's just kind of do that. It's a special kind of book. But, whatever. So if I can just put them concentrated into one place, then I'll know them whenever I see them. Yeah, even my Thumb Nomicon. Okay, so they're in my inner chest system now. Because I needed to look up how to uh, tame them once you spawn them in, because apparently it's like a separate process. Uh, let me see here. Where, where is the book? Okay, I can, I can recraft it and put it up, because apparently it doesn't get uh, it doesn't stay there, so I need a... Uh, let me see here. Not that one, not that one. For some, uh, b because of how the uh, guidebook system works, it kind of has them uh, all as one item, even though they're for different mods, which is entirely wacky. Uh, I mean, I literally hit R for recipe in, on this, and I got all those books. So, all of these mods use uh, patchouli as a base, and I guess it routes through there. So, therefore, here we are. So, I need a red dye, a bone meal, and a book. Okay, so I'll just recraft it. Because I can do that, I can always just recraft it. And I'll just keep one on me from now on. 
I do have, like, the collection in my bookshelf, officially, so that's no problem, but still, it's weird that... It's weird that this is not a thing. See? It says it's already there, but it doesn't work that way. If I do this, and I grab this guidebook, this should be... Yeah, you see, it doesn't even work. It, it just registers it as nothing. Because it can't figure out what's supposed to be there, because that's only the base book. So that's what it saves. But, you see, it's, it's, sometimes Project E is cool just for finding out how mods are actually based. Oh, like, um, if their code base uses something as, like, one coordinated item, and it, like, has, like, special data attached to it to say other things about it, like, for example, a lot of things use a machine block as a base, and then you make it what it is, and it registers as one item as a machine block, so that's how several industrial mods work, so it's kind of weird how that how that actually operates, but uh, yeah, it, it, it is how it is, so sometimes you gotta go with it. Okay. The thing is, we have this thing about spawning made, and the thing is, it doesn't tell you here. Like, it, it's just saying, like, how uh, how to get the maid, like, using that. Just saying, we'll use JEI, because the recipe may change. Well, the problem is, it if, if you use JEI, here's here's the issue. Because you're, you're trying to get a, a spawning of a maid. But, it doesn't route that way through here because it'll just say by aspect and stuff, it won't say how to do it with the altar recipe. So, that's kind of a weird thing. But it's because it doesn't actually use the spawn item to do so, it directly spawns it in like a summoning ritual. And that's where this comes in. So, if I go to... here, it'll say basically to do the... whatever it says with the altar, which I... I figured out. It'll also say you need some cake to tame the maid. Taming items can be changed to the config, which uh, was already mentioned, but however, the thing is that uh, I, I'm just going to leave it default, so I'm going to do the cake. Uh, tame maid is almost always identical to vanilla pet, and you can right-click to open a GUI system. Uh, another thing is that you can also... you have to... you get like a special cake box whenever you first get the maid. So, apparently you right-click the box. So this is like a special procedure that like makes a custom block or something like that. Because if you look up cake, it's a bit of a different story. Okay, cause, check this out. Arcane cake. Yeah, I'd like to eat that eventually. Uh, things that mention making cake. Amber cake. Delicious and nutritious from like an ice, but not what I'm looking for. Demon Stone Pillar. I don't see... Oh, it says it's been caked in, in blood. Okay, so therefore it has something to do with cake. It's just the wrong kind of cake. Uh, flat transfer m uh, node. This one here. Ah, thinner than the thinnest of pancakes. You see, you can also look up on the lore uh, attached data when it comes to JEI. So if you look up cake, you get some interesting results. Uh, and then cake. Uh... So let's see if I could just make a cake this way. Do I have this memorized? Yes, I do, thank goodness. Uh, now, when it comes to the actual uh, taming of the maid, I don't know if I'm going to have to, like, like, hander the cake or drop the cake. So we will see what we will see. Because, I mean, this has been a long-term project, trying to figure out how to automate the the mana system. And normally it doesn't take this long, but I'm trying to do it a certain way, like isn't actually using, like, integrating uh, like, golems and stuff to it, so that's get, that's get where it kind of gets a little, uh, a little, uh, interesting. So, in case you're wondering, things kind of got a little wacky that way. Okay, now, since I have more than enough energy, I'll probably do this more than once. 
Now, how it works is you get in, like, how whatever items it says, and if you have enough power, then as soon as you put in the last item that you need, it'll subtract that energy from you, and you get the maid. And I forget why that thing is all the way up there. Is there a particular reason for it? And what even is that? I I'm not entirely sure. Because <laughs> uh, I just noticed that. And it it's going to be funny, so let let's see how this works. Okay, that explains things. Because that is... That is a... Uh, that is a cake box ra uh, uh, wrapping up the maid. Um, but it's apparently an entity, not a block. Huh? Or is it? Is this a block? Or is this an entity? Because I can't walk through it, or can I? No, I can't walk through it, but yeah, I can I can see the maid's like wings or something in there. She's going to be a very interesting maid. Uh, I I have to click on it several times to unwrap her. Okay, so I I took off the top of the box. Do I have to still click the box? Apparently I do, and I get some paper for Okay. Um would you like a cake? <laughs> oh, p apparently it just takes one cake. Um, that helps. Hi. Um, apparently I already have a name. That's interesting. For a while I was thinking of how to best handle naming the fairies. I mean, the maids. Uh, she's got wings. Thank you very much. Anyhow. Okay, so I can go directly to her inventory. Bobbles. These things apparently aren't working. Made writing settings, so you can get her to write them out. Made something rather show me. Oh, poses. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Made resources packed. It, okay, that's maybe different. Sound credit. Farming. Okay, these are her different modes. Okay. Okay, so now she's idling. Yeah. Can I have you just follow me? Like, yeah, yeah. You can't. Can, will you follow me now? Okay, okay. Papa. You're 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 following well. Uh, pardon me as I throw some paper in here. And grab yeah, my boy. my transmutation circle because I'm gonna need to alchemy. Now this thing's purpose is already set to uh, help you catch your maids and. You have to hold it for a while. How do you put your maid back? Or is that not working? We just got a cooldown? It, it, it was supposed to be able to catch your mage. Oh, it's the photo is here. Okay. <laughs> okay, for a while I was wondering about it. So, so use that and then you get a photo. I know I put the paper away before that happened, so apparently you don't need paper. Okay, so it you instantly get the item in your inventory if possible. Apparently it has durability, but my little repair thing is working fine, so thank you, Repair Talisman. And you move them around in a photo, technically. So that's an interesting twist. Haven't really seen this exact mob catch. A uh, uh, darn lips. I haven't seen exactly this mob capture mechanic before. So this is new. Now, speaking of new, I'm going to see if I can fully activate my power. Now, can I? Why can I not fly? I could still glide, but I could fly with this at an earlier time. For some odd reason, I'm not flying. Ah, I'm not sure why I can't fully fly. Oh well, at least I can run around. Round up, uh, my darn lips. At least I can run around with it for this time. But 
Whee! And I can still, I can still glide, or or slow fall. But you actually get more than just flight whenever you activate that uh, archangelic form ability uh, from uh, uh, from uh, Angel of Vengeance. Uh, so yeah, it also like powers you up. Like your magic is way stronger in this form while it lasts. For some odd reason, I can't seem to fly. Or did it get, or did it maybe get nerfed? To where it was no longer flight. Well, let me see what it says in here. Hello. I, I'm I'm clicking on it. Is it's saying I don't need it anymore? Or is it because I'm during this form and maybe it limits something? Maybe I can't interact in that form with it? That would be weird. Like, really weird. Um... Whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll look on it eventually, later. What? Oh! It's not just that. Oh, oh, and now I know what it is. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, y you can't interact with most blocks whenever you're locked into spellcasting mode. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm out of the form, so I can't jump. Okay. But the spell book says you can become a beacon of light, you gain the ability to flight, and a lot of other things like you become immune to slowness, wither, and poison, and can breathe underwater indefinitely. You gain. Uh, 75 spell power and 25 dodge. But it already wore off. Because I, I, I was thinking maybe if I'm just not selecting at the time, maybe it can fly better. But I don't know. My, my, my wings are having technical difficulties. Please stand by. Uh, that's the basic uh, issue here. And I'll have to wait for that timer to go down to do it. It doesn't run on spell charges like the other abilities. It literally has to do this thing where it runs on a timer. So it's different. <laughs> and I'm going to deal with that problem again in a moment. But hey, I, I still don't like being too low on food. So a little bit of annoying damage is going to be... Is that another Vento Raptor? Okay. I do have a couple of Ventoraptor skulls right now, but I can't level them up properly. Because of what they need to level up. So I just don't have anything with the right aspects matching right now. Oh, the, the, the timer's replenished. Maybe I could try a, a quick at attempt to uh, properly fly again. That would be nice. Okay, but here's of course the area which I'm really going to be focused on. Okay, but uh, well, I, I'm going to go ahead and try. Okay, Archangel form. Now off. Is there another button I need to activate for my flight now? I I don't know. That's a good question. Did there must have been a tweak or something I'm missing here? Cause I look fantastic. I can still feather fall, but my flying is not working. Uh, this is really getting me here. Sorry. Um, is there something I need to activate differently? Angel of Vengeance. Spell slot. Spell toggle. Um. It doesn't look like there is. I'm just having technical difficulties with flight. Okay, that, that that's annoying, but at least I know that I can still float down. It's still handy for getting down to places uh, quickly, so like hopping off a mountain is just not letting me fly. I, I'm still going to be powerful during this time, but uh, I'm missing my flight. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's just go on to made tasks. See, idle, which is default. Uh, attack, give them a, a sword, and they'll do stuff. Which does make me wonder if I'm gonna 
wind up testing just how compatible they uh, they are with various weapons eventually. Of course, it's probably about the same as with engender mobs. Like, what counts as a weapon counts as a weapon, and what doesn't has apparently been forcefully made in a very special way. Like, I'm suspicious it's that way with a lot of mods custom weapons. Although, somehow Tinker's Construct gets it to work. I'm not entirely sure how, but they do. Like, Tinker's Construct uh, stuff works. See, bow, basically, if you're saying that they should attack stuff at range. It's, it's weird that they can't do both. <laughs> Apparently you must choose. Are they going to be a ranged maid or a melee maid? Uh, Dan Maku, if you give them the go high, you can have them uh, shoot things for you. So that's that makes them basically like the angry maid fairies that you face in the world. Okay. Farm. If you put crop seeds... Uh, 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 if you give her crop seeds, she will actively plant crops around her and actively harvest them. So I don't need to give her a hoe. I can just give her the crop seeds. Sugarcane, very specifically, plants and harvests sugar canes. Melons. Uh, Harvest watermelons and pumpkins, cocoa, plant and harvest cocos, grass, uh, clean weeds and flowers, snow, feed, shears, torch, put torches. Okay, so some of this stuff might be automatic action, and some of it might, uh... Oh, and she can even actively feed animals for you. That's cool. So... Let's see if I can see more of these features that she's got in some way. Okay. It, it, Aya? Okay. Oh, there's a thing over here. Huh? I see how that works. And she can shear sheep. Uh, she can milk cows. <laughs> That's a function that's a little tricky for golems, I think. I mean, they can do it, but not directly. At least I don't think so. I think they'd have a hard time milking cows, but they can do that. So this means I could automate cake. Maybe between a few different things. Like, she has no ability to auto-craft, and that's something golems can do. Is they can put stuff in an auto-crafting table and... And, and do that for you. But she doesn't have any ability to interact with blocks in that fashion. But she can still do some stuff that I'm having technical issues with. Now she can also wear armor. It, you, you know. I, okay, you just... Never mind that for a while. Don't worry about the farming. You, you stay there. I've got some interesting ideas. Okay, sudden testing here. You know my my, you know my by now I I love my obsidian armor from block armor. It's a thing. And its special traits tend to make me wonder if they can work with any particular mob because that would make them instantly cool. Ah, it doesn't render. Interesting. I mean that's always kind of a, a kind of a. A side thought. Do you want to show off what they look like more, or you want to show off the armor? So, apparently it was their decision to show what they look like rather than their armor. And their HP isn't going up, so I can tell it's not, like, doing that. It is showing the values. Like, it's showing that she's got an armor value of 16 right now. I need to give her a weapon and a shield, just in case. Like, I don't know if she'll automatically defend the farm. Or not. Uh, you know, better yet. I haven't made one of these yet. I need to. I need to make a Thaumium sword. Scan it anyhow, so... M why not? <laughs> I'll just get... It. And besides, I'm trying to do th uh, things as Thaumcrafty uh, in this particular... Uh, in this particular series, so... Let's go Thaumcrafty. So, Thaumium Sword. Wow, wow. You've learned something new. Why, yes. Okay. You know? Okay, that does look cool. Now, 
trying to remember, do I got Spartan shields in here? Because I think I do. If I do, I think I'll try to make a Thaumium shield if there is one. Thaumium plated shield. Good. Good. Good stuff. Void plated. Holy goodness. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Literally, I don't know if... Well, well I might find some void... Have I made void metal? I mean, uh, just checking. Just checking. Not... Yes, I have. I have made void metal before. It, it's been a while. <laughs> so, let's see. What does this thomium plated shield require? Because I think I'll still go with thomium. Uh, okay, it requires a crude wooden shield and four thomium ingots. And I have a thing going around. Okay, I haven't done one of those yet, so that, that's a good thing to do. They usually have it where the crude wooden shield is like a base. So I need six planks of any type and a stick. Good thing I already had a set on wood. It's just weird that I, I hadn't did that, because that's one of those things that would be good to do in advance, just in case you wanted to do fancy shields. I, mean, I got it in here for people who are more into combat. I kind of am too, but it's just I haven't really needed to do shields that much whenever I have options that are awesome and I already have a shield that was literally given to me at random. So I guess I just didn't think of worrying about it too much. That and It's mainly that the durability uh, shifts. It's not a thing where you have too many... How do you not scan? You have a regular crafting recipe. I can scan you here. But how do you not... Sometimes I have to wonder about uh, about how these mods do their crafting paths. I mean, that was within vanilla crafting possibility. That was not, like, a super fancy uh, method or anything. It's just like, I am here. I'm a shield. Why don't you scan me? Again, it doesn't scan with Thomcraft. I mean, the whole thing is Thomcraft integration is present here. It's another one of the reasons why I got this mod in, but apparently it's not really showing the aspects. Um, okay, so you are now just ready in case of melee being required. Uh, home mode is disabled. Click this button to, s uh, to set whether the maid will follow the player. Okay, pick mode is enabled. Click this button to set whether the maid takes the initiative to pick up the entity item. Okay, so it, it, you gotta remember that the one who made this doesn't have uh, English as their first language. <laughs> so if you're watching this and you're wondering about the context, they, they, they may need some assistance, but they're on the right path. Because you can understand what they're saying. Uh, so it's perfectly fine. Home mode is enabled. Mode is disabled. You know, I do want her to mostly be around here, so I'm going to set that on. And she's definitely going to need to pick up items, but... Because of the whole I'm farming thing... Meanwhile, it looks like I'm going to need to... What the? Oh, you again. I'm sorry about this. I really am, but... I have to, I have to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, I mean, it, wow, that was really an absolute ton of flowers. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I gotta do that, uh, Nymph. I, I normally like all of you around, but I'm having this weird thing with my health jostling me, and I don't need to deal with it every time. So, I apologize. Especially for like other nymph fans out there, just I'm sorry, I'm I'm terribly sorry. It's one of the few nice by default creatures in like nice mobs, and I wind up having to just walk right into one, didn't I? That one was on me. Okay, so she's still following me. Maybe I need to set the home over here, because she will be farming in this area. Okay, 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 here you go. 
So let's see how well this works. Like for example, if I wanted to automate cake, I'd need to they do something after all. Huh. They periodically make Sororo fruit. They just don't actually grow any taller. For a while I was wondering if I wanted to get rid of my my Sororo farm. Uh <laughs> Because I didn't think it was working, but apparently it just does it in a very odd way. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's say I wanted to expand this and have her work on that because of getting sugar. Which I'd need for automating a cake. So let's say I put her on sugarcane mode. You're working pretty fast, aren't you? Okay. Okay. She actually does it pretty well. And she does pick out good spots. Will she replace that block? Or will she... leave it be, though? Okay, I got, that was next to water. Okay. So you got good pathing logic for this. Wow, she could just cover the area in sugarcane. But she'll only just keep uh, replanting it. Yeah. But that's fine. I mean, that's still useful. Very useful indeed. She's doing it pretty fast. Very effective. So, I'm liking how this is working. Uh, I, I, I grabbed the sugar cane. That's fine. Okay, let me see if I can get to her and change her mode before she goes everywhere. Idle? To stop for a moment. Whoa, that was weird. Popped into my inventory. Okay. She has no more sugar cane on her right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she can have bobbles. Wait, 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 what? She has more than one slot? Okay. I guess it's because she does not, in fact, use the bobbles uh, interface. She just has them. This is intriguing, because she's got like eight slots. How many do I have? Uh, I have seven slots for actual baubles, plus you can access shield slot through here, so, you know, like, that's just a good way to get to your offhand slot, so, yeah, so she technically has more bobble slots than I do. Um, okay. That's interesting. Um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, now, if I wanted you to, uh, let's say, uh, do I want you to farm? Let me see, we have melon. Do I want her to collect melons? So I can, I can do that. I can just have her collect melons and see how that works because it's one of the reasons why I got this farm over here. I may have to relocate her real quick for her to... Okay, now let's see how well this holds her inventory. She should come out with everything as she was. She has kind of dedicated features so this ought to help. Uh, at least I thought I had melons over here. Do I not have melons? Oh, I, I did not have melons here yet. Okay. Oops. That's, uh... That's on me. Oh, no. Forgot that I didn't have melons. Okay. Let's see what... Put crop okay. seeds... They will actively plant the crops and actively harvest them. So, she'll figure it out based uh -huh. on the seed. But, does that mean... I can have her do it in another way. Hmm. Oh, she can also actively feed you. I mean, they are meant to be like a multi-purpose companion, so I can see that. You can also clean out snow and uh, give you snowballs. Uh, they can place torches for you. Hmm. I'm going to see if... Farming with seeds means they'll also do it with something that's not exactly a seed, but kind of acts like one. 
because if I can get her to farm carrots, that would be interesting. So, what if I start her up with a quick... Because admittedly, when it comes to planting, I'm not entirely sure how I can trust myself. I need more than one for the whole thing to work. Okay. Let's let's see if she will farm uh, carrots. So let's go with farm Papa. and carrots. So let's see, is this a way to target that? Okay, she took a little moment to figure it out. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Did that not give seeds? Oh, oh, she's clearing this out first. I see. It's actually okay, I can replenish this whole farm. But if I want her to focus on carrots, she'll do that as much farmland as she can find. Okay, so I'm getting a little made experimentation here. It's working out pretty cool, actually. Just figuring out how they can do things. Or is she counting it as re-farming all of this stuff? That's a beetroot. I, I guess she accidentally, like, she gathered the, the seed? Okay, she's gathering potatoes. Okay, she put down carrot. <laughs> um... Okay, so it works, but it <laughs> might be a bit of a mixed farm, unless you do particular steps. Oh, she... did she replant... Uh, well, she... Re okay, so she's replanting all sorts of stuff. I think she replanted carrots. Oh, cut, cut that out, you little... Uh, windows. Windows. I know we've had disagreements in the past. I'd just like you to be cool. But... You're not really succeeding at. Okay, so you don't have to give her anything in specific when it comes to farming. She'll just farm whatever's there and replant whatever you've got. So if you want to do a pure farm, you'd have to kind of ensure that by uh, making it like a dedicated plot and it being only one thing available. But that's okay, I guess. I mean, whoa, something is going wrong. It's got its way back out of it, apparently. I'll put you on idle for now, because I may have to replan this. Or I may have to simply strip this area of plants and say, go ahead and, and, and do whatever, or give you a particular plant. I'm not entirely sure. Um, because ap apparently there's a little confusion if there's anything else mixed in. And I tend to do mixed farms, or at least ones where I have dedicated crops fairly close to each other of different types. So that could be a slight issue with my style. Um, yeah, I, I, I can adapt. I can adapt to that. But uh, let's just do a little bit of what I... Sorry about the whole thing there. Let's do what... Just a little bit of what I... Am, or is, am trying to do. Because the whole point is I want to figure out the best way I have to automate this. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Potatoes go almost instantly be perfectly fair. They don't really have much nutritional value if they're uncooked. I'll try to alternate you a few things. But man, they are eating them fast. Just wait for the burp. Yeah, I'm able to hear the burp at least. plant burps, it's pretty much done. Oh yeah, I forgot to ward myself. Uh, oops, it got so tied up with this that I forgot to ward myself. Uh, this could be a bit of an issue. Um, 
Yeah, cause cause what I'm gonna have to eat is not exactly uh, good. And it'll cause me to have issues again. Well, I got the unnatural hunger away. Ward me. Yeah, I'm gonna have some serious hunger issues very quickly. Uh, yeah. Have another carrot. You can't just keep throwing food at it continuously. It'll kind of just eat it and not really assimilate it, but if you wait for the burp, then it'll be basically fully loaded. So really saturating plants like steak can take a while. You know, I do kind of need your rotten flesh, because I can feed this plant that too. It just when I actually needed it in another way, other than sustaining my unnatural hunger. That happens. Well, this is pretty saturating. Maybe I'll toss it to him. Okay, hi. So you're you're following me again. Um Well, I guess I can sleep out here. It's kind of weird that be because of how the taming in Like Nice Mobs works, it didn't count that towards the advancement, but this did. <laughs> okay. So that was a thing. Where's my wand? It's a here. Man, those foods just don't give it much kick. Now that, on the other hand, has a kick. Whoa! Very saturating. See why I said wait for the burp? Mm-hmm. That emptied pretty fast, though. However, it doesn't like the same food more than once, so I might have to uh, think very carefully the best way to do this. Of course, that's already was kind of my issue, is uh, figuring out the best way to do this. Couple for me. Ouch. Couple for the plant. These are going to be just little bitty tidbits for it, though. Yeah, yeah. That one was a little more saturating. So that's interesting. Yeah, they were barely anything. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so what if I alter this to melon farm? Harvest watermelons and pumpkins. Okay, they only harvest them, they don't replant them because of the way that they work. That's good to know. So if I, like, rip this out and make it a melon farm, she'd be able to do that. Then I could have golems deliver the melon slices. Maybe. But then there's other things I need to do, and it, it the the plant does give diminishing returns whenever you uh, feed it in particular ways. So hmm, I might have to get more maids. Well, I know I'm going to get more maids, but I'm just just saying I may have to have like different ones doing different functions, and the uh, golems do delivery. However, since they pick up the items to their inventory, I. Is there a way to get them to bind to an inventory? That would be nice. Uh, none of these say anything about binding to an inventory. 
Uh, made config. That's the config of the mod, so that's not the the thing. Okay. Uh, some of these are. Oh, okay. To get her to actually work with uh, home mode. That's apparently something that uh, sets coordinates, set point, set point, multi point re entry, multi point closure. Okay, there is a lot more to this <laughs> uh, than I was originally thinking of doing. Uh, backpack. Oh, so that's how you get those extra slots. So that expands their inventory. Okay. There's nothing here about them binding to a a block. Nope. Uh nothing about binding to a block. Uh I'll actively pick up items, arrows, and experience orbs around her. Main GUI has a button to uh, pick up modes. By default, the maid will always follow the player. Oh, okay, so you can get the sitting mode by shift right clicking. Okay. I thought that would be under maid task, under the idle thing. But no, it's different. Right under. Okay, that, that's the thing about them writing other entities. They can convert experience into bottles of enchanting, which is interesting, so there is a way to get them. Uh, and you can name them directly, but they apparently have default names, and I'm good with that. Okay, so where'd you go? You're, you're way over there. So let's just see if I can, in fact, make you sit. That would be nice. Uh oh, I have a slight possible issue. Um, I don't think I can get her to sit. Unless it doesn't render? Maybe it doesn't render. Because she didn't seem to follow me then. Hmm. So I put her on idle and she wound up over there. Uh, <laughs> Are you supposed to... Okay. I guess it just doesn't render sitting? Yahoo! Okay, okay. So it doesn't render it one way or the other. Oh, no. That's something to note. However, I do know in advance there's some way to get them to sit on an object. Because... If you look up... If you look up the mod, you just have to go with at two. Uh, there's these special, like, they're kind of like custom chairs. And I think there's ways to get them to actually sit with on some of these. But they're actually one coordinated item, because uh, it mentions about the skin GUI. Well, that's because they actually have, like, different looks, and these are just different models. But 
they're like custom chairs that you can have your maid sit on. There's also something else. Uh, it's, it's like a, a cart or something. Uh, would you sit on a pair? Uh, I, I don't know. On that one. Um, yeah, yeah. Anti collision bucket. Uh, okay. Huh? Rickshaw. Okay. Wheelchair. Cat cart. Okay, so there are vehicles that you can go with as well. So if I wanted her to be in a particular place, there are ways for me to do it. And there's also ways for to, to move around with her with them in a different way. So it's been very exploratory today. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be able to figure out some things for you to do to help me out and the golems. Uh, right now I just have one golem, and I need to figure out exactly what tasks to do with the golem as well. Preferably ones you can't, because I can't get the harvest thing to work. Because it, the infusion doesn't want to go. I, I don't know why, it just doesn't want to go. But I could have a golem do things like move items that have been harvested over there, but you put stuff directly into your inventory, so... Hmm... This might not be as yeah, easy yeah. as I first thought, especially with that whole thing, because I got your type of infusion to work, and yeah, yet yeah. the the arcane infusion isn't. So I'm, I'm still wondering about what's up with that, but I will figure this out and figure out what yeah, you can yeah. do to help me. So y you will have a task, Aya. You really will. I just don't know what it is yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, nothing quite like going out on a sunset. Anyhow, uh, so this has been Glitch Reaper, and, well, let's just kind of, yeah, side by side, side by side is cool. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I will try to figure out some ways to get her to work, and preferably with some golems and integrate some way, because I really would like to automate my Gormorillus. But with uh, some aspects of golemage not quite working, it does make me wonder. I might be able to get around it in an odd way or two, but I'm not entirely confident of that. So, yeah. we'll see, because that is a very big problem, not being able to get my harvest seal. It, it was it was going to be kind of a big centerpiece of this whole thing, and not working. Not working at all. So, I may have to think of integrating different mods in completely different ways to figure this out, so I'm going to have to take a big step back and think about this really carefully. So for now, I'm going to be logging off. Hope to hear from you all later. And goodbye for now, everybody.